Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. I'm going to show you my colors. Uh, that's a chartreuse. And these are all watered down very thin. Uh, that's a Charbon color called orange yellow. It's yellow gold. And then this is like a uh, just kind of a raw sienna kind of mustardy yellow color. That is Charbon indigo mixed with some Amsterdam um, raw umber. And then that is magenta by Charbon, quinacridone magenta. That's kind of just this earthy kind of flesh tone. And you can see these are very, very watery. Um, there's a bottle of Gak Magic. I'll put the recipe for that below. And then that last one I didn't show you was a color art um, a paint, paint called Rebulite. And I'm just working with some different tools here, a catalyst and some different palette knives. Um, I love those Fluid Art Company palette knives. They've been really great. And I just have like a, a plastic scraper and a little squeegee brush. Um, just kind of playing around today uh, on this. It's a 30 by 48 inch canvas. So I did a little bit of, I don't know. I was just kind of sketching around a little bit, kind of mapping things out in my mind a little bit. Um, just kind of a good way to loosen up a bit. Um, and this was a canvas that I actually put a sand medium down on so it's got like this gritty sandy texture to it and I just thought it'd be kind of interesting underneath a pearl painting so playing around with a little bit of texture here um, later in the painting I take it over onto my other table and I add some vitrail which is a solvent based paint um, so you're going to see that happen a little bit later and right now just kind of playing around um, and yeah, just uh, I really like this this type of abstract art. I'm actually going to be teaching sort of this method um, with the GAC magic and the thin paints. And I'm also going to be introducing some high flow. And I'm doing that in my abstract course at the Fluid Art Experience. And then I was like, okay, like let's get some color onto this canvas, which was really fun. So that's the Rebulite and the Magenta. And what I love about the color art pigments in this application is that they kind of bleed and they blend together and just give some really pretty effects um, within the painting so and you can kind of tell that sandy texture is kind of picking and I did spray this canvas with water before I started so I'm kind of working on a damp sandy texture here um, and you can see what it's doing it's kind of like grabbing it and pulling the color around and just giving it some some textural interest. And then that's that kind of mustardy color, which was a few different paints. It was Talon by Charvin. And then um, that chartreuse color actually has quite a lot of satin enamel in it. So it's, you can tell that it's kind of clouding out and really grabbing a hold of the other paint, kind of giving a cloudy look. So anyways, I hope uh, you're having a beautiful day. I'm I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but I'm working with completely different video editing software um, and I bought a different computer. So it's kind of been um, a challenge. It's been, you know, anytime you change your system, it's it can be a, a learning curve, but I've really been enjoying it. It's a much more robust editor and um, you know, I find a lot of joy actually in video editing. I It's also a very creative process and uh, it could be a little time consuming, but um, I have been enjoying it. So I hope you like this. I hope um, the video quality is better than it's been in the past. And I'll be working on some other ways to just improve uh, the way I share things with you all. So uh, thank you for your beautiful, ongoing and loving support. It means the world. Um, there's so many great ways you can support me as a Patreon uh, just by being here is a wonderful support. So thank you. Oh, and then there's that Charvin <laughs> uh, gr yellow gold. It's very vibrant color. Kind of started to feel like a sunset up at the top a little bit. So, all right, much love and take great care. And I will see you soon. Bye.
Thank you.